Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you notice that you're having an issue with your system restore utility that's built into Windows. So if it says it's been turned off by your system administrator or a group policy, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first method I'm going to go over is going to apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and every edition of Windows 10 except pretty much for Windows 10 Home Edition because this is generally the easier way. That's what I'm going to highlight first. There is a registry modification we can make as well, but I will save that for our second alternative option for Windows 10 Home users and maybe for users who do not find success with the first method I'm going to show here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by left clicking on the Start button one time. Type in local group policy. Best match should say edit group policy. Left click on that one time. Please note if you're running Windows 10 Home, you're not going to actually be able to find this in the start menu, hence why there are two methods to this tutorial. So underneath a local group policy on the left side, you want to go in ahead and expand underneath computer configuration. You want to go select the administrative templates folder. Make sure you do the first one and not the one underneath user configuration, so I'm just going to minimize that. Again, you want to do the one underneath computer configuration here. So either double click on the folder to expand it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it as well. Alternatively, you got a couple different options there. And now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and expand the system folder. So left click on system. And you want to locate something that says system restore on the left side. Left click on it. And then on the right side, I guess it means a little wider here for us. You see there's two settings here, turn off configuration and turn off system restore. You want to go ahead and double click on where it says turn off system restore. Double click on it. And you want to set that to disabled. And you want to left click on apply and OK. And then for the first setting here, it says turn on configuration, double click on it. Set this one as well to disabled. Left click on apply and OK. And if you think about it, so turning something off that's already off will turn it on, if that kind of makes sense. So just think about it like that. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of here, attempt to run the system restore again, or create a system restore point, and hopefully that's resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem, a second method that I could suggest would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. So left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. Right click on it. Left click on it, run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in this tutorial, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of your registry. So if you ever had to go back to a previous version, if you made any modifications in here, it would be simple enough to undo. So in order to create the backup, you just would left click on the file tab, left click on export. I would recommend saving the file name to actually the date that you're creating this backup and then save it to an easily accessible location on your computer or perhaps a removable media device, whatever you prefer. Left click on save and again make sure export range is set to all before you do that. So make sure export range is all and then left click on save. And if you ever had to restore your registry back, just do the file tab, left click on import now and you just relocate the file and import it back in. So very straightforward on that end as well. So now that we've done that, you want to go ahead and expand the HK local machine subfolder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. Now you want to do the same thing for the software folder. So expand the software folder. Go down to policies now. Expand that one as well. Now there should be a Microsoft folder under here. Expand that one as well. There should be something that says Windows NT. Expand that one. And now there should be a folder that says System Restore. Just left click on that one time. On the right side, there should be something that says Disable SR, a D word value. So you can see that over here. You want to go ahead and double click on it for value data. If it says 1, you want to change it to a 0. So value data in here should be 0. So exactly it appears on my screen. So you're just going to delete whatever's in here. Type the number 0. You can see clearly what's in this field right here on your screen. Don't spell out zero. Don't type in O. This is a zero. So very important you type a zero in there. 
base should be set to hexadecimal by default, and then left click on OK. At this point, close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.